Well, in this question, you are being asked to find out marginal propensity to save given the information on consumption and disposable income dollar amount. Uh, here we have the notations. Uh, we have income, disposable income, tax payments, transfer payments, consumption and saving. Uh, before working on the question, um, I want to give a little bit of background information. Now, um, here's the thing. Disposable income is what we have after paying our taxes and receiving our transfer payments. So what we're going to do with our disposable income, uh, we will whether consume that amount that will go to consumption or savings. So there is no other option. Um, given that, we can easily work with this equation the way is you can divide both parts by disposable income and then come up with our identity which is saying that for each additional dollar in our disposable income MPC fraction of this additional one dollar will go to our consumption the remaining will go to our saving and we assume that parameter to be constant so the question is asking about finding marginal propense to save then how we're gonna do we're gonna use this identity and solve for MPS so in a sense what we're gonna do uh, we will find out marginal propense to consume and 1 minus that amount will give you the marginal propense to save so what is the formula for MPC MPC formula is uh, changing our consumption delta is uh, changing a variable delta C is changing consumption divided by changing disposable income saying that for each one additional dollar in my disposable income what fraction of that money will go to my consumption uh, and we call this MPC um, now, um, as long as I find this, I can plug it in here and so for marginal propensity save. Now, uh, how are we going to find out marginal propensity to see from this uh, table? Um, here, uh, those the, um, amounts, like we have combination of consumption and disposable income, it can be for years or for months or weeks, doesn't matter. Let's say that maybe uh, these are the numbers for month. Uh, it's been this is January, this is February, and this is March. So I want to first find out marginal propensity consume by using this formula: changing consumption and changing disposable income. Again, this is disposable income. This is consumption. Okay. Now here's the thing: you can pick any two months. Pick any two months it doesn't matter whether you choose january and february or january march or february march or january march same we will always get the same result so uh, let's go and choose january and march so we want to find out through that time period how much is going to be the change in consumption how much is going to be the change in disposable income and plug it in here and get this at this number so from um, from January to March, as you can see, our consumption is up by around eighteen hundred dollars. So, uh, changing consumption is going to be equal to three thousand dollars minus twelve hundred dollars, which is going to be equal to eighteen hundred dollars. During the same period, if we look at the change in disposable income, as you can see, it's going up by $2,000. And I can easily plug it in here. My MPC is going to be equal to change in C divided by change in disposable income. I plug the numbers in here. I have $1,800 in the numerator, 
$2,000 in the denominator and I get 0.9. What does it mean? That is saying that for each additional $1, extra $1 in my disposable income, 9 cents will go to my savings consumption, which means remaining will go to my savings. So this question is asking about MPS, which is nothing but 1 minus MPC. I'll just plug the numbers in here and I will get 1 minus 0 0.9 uh, which is going to be equal to 0 0.1 which means for each $1 in disposable income additional uh, $1 in disposable income 10 cents will go to my savings so the answer to that question will be 0 0.1